Hello and thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel. My modular rig has grown quite a bit since the last video and I wanted to speak briefly today about sequencing your analog modular synthesizer because every person has to decide for themselves what they want their modular to become. At some point you're going to have to make the decision what do you want it for and what do you want it to do. When I first got into modular I had no idea that one day mine would grow to this size and I suppose that's true for nearly everybody. You buy a few modules, you make a start and then little by little it grows. Most people end up with some kind of step sequencer and that's fine if you're not going to be using your modular along with conventional music but as I thought about sequencing with my modular I realized that the MIDI sequencer was the more appropriate one to use and therefore in the selection of my modules I opted for more MIDI interface modules so that I could get polyphony and have several channels of MIDI information being piped to what is in effect multiple mono modular synthesizers. This would be able to be used for composition of regular music in three or four parts, maybe even six parts if you have enough modules and converters. This is at variance with what most people do with their modular from uh, hunting around on the internet most people seem to be using their short sequence analog sequencers in some sort of trance music, electronic music, ambient music but essentially they're not interested in piping classical music or some kind of conventional music through their analog modular synthesizer. So if that's your goal, if you're a musician looking to incorporate your analog modular synthesizer into your existing musical setup then the best thing that you can do ignore those analog sequencers and stack up on your MIDI interface modules so that you can play several lines of conventional music through your synthesizer. Now as you can see I have a number of new modules which I'm anxious to demonstrate to you in various videos but at this point in time I wanted to help those persons to make that critical decision about whether to buy MIDI converters or analog sequencers. So if you're like me and you maybe have some designs uh, or ideas to incorporate your analog modular synthesizer into regular songs, classical music, pop, t pop tunes or whatever you want to use your analog modular synthesizer in you need to firmly establish that in your mind before you go and make an expensive purchase. So thanks for watching the show. Please do hit the subscribe button because we're going to bring you many patches, uh, module tryouts and reviews and more than that we hope to be able to share some meaningful results with you in the very near future. See you in the next video.